Have you ever had a sunburn? Small sunburns are caused by the penetration of ultraviolet radiation emitted by the sun. It usually occurs after several hours of exposure, depending on the individual. The sunlight damages DNA in the upper layer of the skin cells, causing a burn on the area of penetration. Usually, these burns last around 3 to 5 days and eventually repair themselves naturally. But, have you ever wondered what the result would be if a person had xeroderma pigmentosa, or more commonly known as XP? XP is a rare hereditary skin condition that affects 1 in 1 million individuals. It is characterized by an extreme sensitivity to UV rays from sunlight and the inability to repair cellular damage. XP is an inherited autosomal recessive disease. This means there is a mutation in one of the 22 autosomal chromosomes. Typically, a mutation can occur in chromosomes 3, 9, 11, 16, 19, and specific genes within them to impair the sunburn repair mechanism which we will talk about. So how would you come to know if you have XP? One of the most common and effective ways of diagnosing XP is sequencing candidate genes to view if there has been any mutations. More than 90% of all XP cases are contained by mutations in one of the four genes, XPA, XPC, XPD, and XPV. So let's go back and see what happens when you get a sunburn. UV radiation penetrates the DNA on the surface of the skin and causes it to disassemble. Patients with XP lack these repair mechanism enzymes and proteins due to genetic mutations and they are unable to repair even the smallest sunburns. The damaged DNA on the skin of XP patients can turn cancerous and spread throughout the body, which may eventually lead to death. Some symptoms of XP include dryness of the skin, thinning of the skin, premature wrinkling of the skin, checkered pink pigmentations, and dilation of blood vessels under the skin. Currently, there are many experimental trials and attempts to resolve XP. However, there are ways in which to manage the disease in the meantime for patients. Strict sun avoidance, staying indoors, and using protection such as protective equipment including sunglasses and umbrellas. There are many creams that act as an extreme form of sunscreen such as photolyase. This does the job along with repairing damaged DNA. Hope you liked our video. Share this information with your loved ones. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.